The correlation between Hertzberg's two-factor theory and Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory is reviewed here. If you wish to know more about the two psychologists and their theories, you can see Hertzberg motivation theory and Maslow's hierarchy of needs on this website. Here we focus on the similarities and the differences between the two theories. We start with Hertzberg's two-factor theory, which is divided into two main groups of factors. These are hygiene factors and motivator factors. The second part of the comparison consists of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It consists of five levels, and these are divided into two main categories, which are deficiency needs and growth needs. The two theories are now placed next to each other. Common factors for the two theories are that both theories are built from the bottom up, and both theories refer to human needs. Our approach is to look at this from a management point of view. As management, we have direct influence on the different factors in Hertzberg's two-factor theory. The theory is about factors that affect the employee's work. Maslow includes many other factors, not only factors from an employee's working life. Our starting point is, therefore, to see how Hertzberg's two-factor theory affects Maslow's hierarchy of needs. First, we show how the hygiene factors from Hertzberg's two-factor theory can affect the three deficiency needs in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now, we examine a review of examples of hygiene factors that may affect deficiency needs in the context of Maslow's hierarchy. The first example is salary. If it is the only way to get food on the table and a roof over your head, it affects the psychological needs. It very much depends on the level of social security in the country. In most countries, salary affects the safety needs, which is also one of Maslow's three deficiency needs. Money in the bank gives the employee a feeling of security. However, job security, which is a hygiene factor, affects the safety needs in Maslow's hierarchy directly. Relationship with colleagues is a hygiene factor in Hertzberg's theory, and it affects the belongingness needs in Maslow's hierarchy. It could, of course, also fulfil a security need. The employee feels secure in the group. Now we move on to consider the next level in both theories. Our starting point is still how Hertzberg's two-factor theory affects Maslow's hierarchy. We will now examine how the motivator factors from Hertzberg's two-factor theory can affect the two growth needs in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We are going to review examples of motivator factors that may affect growth needs in the Maslow hierarchy. Recognition from colleagues or management is a motivator in Hertzberg's theory and it affects the esteem needs in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Motivator factor meaningful work is, for some employees, part of their self-actualization. It often also covers esteem needs. The employee shows the world what he's good at but that need is also one of the growth needs in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now we shall review a criticism of the integration of the two theories. In the videos dealing with Maslow's hierarchy of needs and Hertzberg's two-factor theory, you can find the individual criticisms of the two theories. 
Hertzberg only looks at the employee in a work context, while Maslow's hierarchy of needs deals with the individual 24-7. Hertzberg is actually a subset of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We can, as a company, believe that we are fulfilling all the hygiene factors of an employee. But if the employee, in his everyday life outside the working place, lacks deficiency needs such as safety and belongingness, we are on an almost fruitless journey. The employee will try to get all of his deficiency needs in Maslow covered in the workplace. We will never fulfil all these needs, and we will therefore never be able to go to the next level and reach motivator factors. To use the two theories together requires a reasonable balance between the employee's work life and life outside work, such as family, leisure and friends, etc. This balance exists for most people, and therefore it makes sense to use the theories together in the daily work of management.